annexation can be a tricky topic of conversation and with surrounding areas growing so quickly, today I'm breaking down the process. So today, I am on the corner of People's Road, which is considered the city of Huntsville. However, I'm gonna walk behind the camera. Hey, now I'm over here on Pryor Road, which is not the city of Huntsville anymore. It's actually Limestone County. So today, I thought it would be the perfect time to talk about annexation and how the whole process works. A annexation is simply a process uh, between the annexing authority Huntsville in this case, and a landowner. Says Limestone County District 2 Commissioner Danny Barksdale, the only requirement is that it has to touch an existing part of the city that's being annexed. For instance, right here on Burgreen Road, Huntsville annexed a small portion uh, of property on that. From that, they expanded the annexation to these parts of District 2 in Limestone County simply because the property that is being annexed has to touch an existing part of the city that is doing the annexation. Commissioner Bark still says county governments don't even have to be made aware that a tract of land is being annexed. Provided the landowner has petitioned the city of Huntsville for annexation. And as the surrounding areas continue to grow, Athens District 1 City Councilman Chris Siebert says these are not quick things typically. And overall, Commissioner Barksdale says when it comes to annexation, at the end of the day, they do this for several different reasons. Now, according to the American Planning Association, the usual practice upon acquiring new territory is to place it in the most restrictive residential zone provided for by the city zoning ordinance. Kanisha, back to you.